Okay, today we're going to be working on this fan out on the back patio. It works pretty well, but it has a problem that develops after about an hour of operation. Uh, if it's on high speed, it'll just suddenly drop out. So I've already switched the capacitor out. That didn't make a difference. And I'm thinking the switch is probably what's going on. If not, it's a winding in the motor. So I'll take the coffee can cover off. This fan is custom. And I'll switch that switch. We'll let it run and see how it does. Okay, many, many, many years ago, when I was messing with these switches and capacitors and stuff, I would say probably between the ages of 13 and 15, I didn't know about the quick disconnect. So I would cut them and use wire nuts and attach the new parts. But I discovered that and I thought, well, if they break again, I'll do it right. So it's just a matter of putting a screwdriver in there. Um, these older ones are a little harder, but let's see if I can do that. There it goes. had to persuade it a little bit more and then it just pushes back in there and tuck on its lock back in place so yes the switch I do believe is what was bad so I'm going to go test that fan out now and see how it does okay the fan is put back together there's high and I'm going to let it run for a couple hours and make sure it's going to work correctly. And then medium. And I'm noticing medium is basically low. And then there's low. And I don't see much difference at all between the two speeds, low and medium. But high is what I'm mainly concerned with. There's off. We'll see what the spin down is. This is not rated for outdoor. Yet it's been out here for close to 30 years. pretty good spin down time the bearings are a little bit noisy in it but as you can see, they're still doing their job very well. And then I'm going to start it back on high and just let it run. So for about an hour into running on high, it would just almost completely it'd run about this speed right here on high. And then turning it off, letting it sit. A minute and then turn it back on and go back to full speed. All right, back to high. putting out a nice breeze. OK, 
Okay, the mystery has been solved on why there's not much difference between low and medium. It's got the wrong capacitor in it. It's supposed to have a 4610. Instead of a 4.556. So that's probably going to make things work quite a bit better. I'm going to go ahead and get one or two of those ordered and get that installed and see how it does. I had confirmed this with one of the exact same type of ceiling fans that's still installed inside the house. So I'm going to get one of those and get it installed and see if there's a difference between low and medium with the correct capacitor. Well the fan is still acting up so I've taken it down and taken it apart. I'm going to start by blowing out the windings with some compressed air and see if that'll help keep them cooler. I think it's going into thermal overload. And here's a look at the old fan motor. As you can see I had cleaned the wiring up pretty nicely. Just for the heck of it, I'll just put that new capacitor in there. I may hang this and just let it run and see how it does. But I got a feel that it's going to do the same thing. And besides that, the bearings make quite a bit of noise. And the last time I tried it, it was real easy to stall. So it's still pretty easy to stall. So I think the wind was stalling it out some and causing some problems. Because I had the new motor running side by side and I couldn't stall it near as easily as I can this one. So I think this one's just worn out. It's uh, served us well for 30 31 years so it did a good job